Hey everybody, it's Tim from Smart Home Mastery. Here we are in the home theater again, the messy home theater. Um, as you can see, I've um, got cords all over the place, um, laptop and ear protection up there because we're do I've been doing some uh, room EQ stuff um, and getting ready for the Dirac when that comes out. So uh, just got some uh, temp, temp cable and stuff run to the to the AV, uh, an HDMI cable that I can hook up to my laptop here. Um, so I can do some testing, got my sound pressure meter there, um, mini DSP microphone. So you'll be seeing some videos on, on that, uh, in the future. But what today's video is about is, uh, I think in my last video, I mentioned that, uh, when I did the whole run through of the build process that I was going to do one on how much the theater cost me. And, uh, it's one, it's a video I honestly didn't plan on doing. Um, and I'm still not sure I should have, but, uh, anyways, the, uh, Today's video is going to be all about how much this home theater cost me, and I honestly didn't know until I did this video and told everything up how much it cost me. Um, and I think you'll see in the end. Um, anyways, it, you, you'll be you can be the judge whether you think it's a big number or not, and you know let me know in the comments what you think about that price that you see at the end. Um, you know whether you think that's high, low, stupid money, whatever. Um, but again, I, start, I started this theater build and wasn't planning on doing this. Um, I wasn't planning on doing it. Certainly wasn't planning on doing a video about it and wasn't even planning on uh, keeping track of how much everything costs because uh, I really didn't want to know. Um, so stick around. Uh, again, I, th I think I'll mention it in the video too. I think that um, these prices are based off from, uh, you know, years worth of working on this room so they're not going to be all today's prices some of them are going to be prices from several years ago so they may look low to you but just remember that uh, the prices are based on uh, the materials as i bought them at that time when i found receipts for things so um they may be low they, you may think they're low but just know that that's the case so anyways I guess we'll uh, jump into it, and uh, again, please like and subscribe to my channel. We're going to be doing lots of more videos about this stuff and other cool things, so uh, here here we go. And before I break in, get into the, the actual numbers here, there's, there's a few things I wanted to mention. Uh, first thing is, um, these costs for me were spread over, I think as I mentioned in the beginning, I, these costs were spread over several years. I've been working on this home theater now for probably seven, eight years on and off. Um, so these aren't, this wasn't, the spend wasn't all done in, in, a, in, in one or two years. This is spread out across several years. The other thing is, um, as I mentioned in the beginning too, these, these costs, I wasn't keeping track of these at first. I, I really didn't want to know how much I was spending on this in the beginning um, until just recently. So some of these I, I was able to go back and find receipts for, and some of these I um, I just went actually went back, looked at my materials that I used, and then went and got um, prices for these. So these prices, a lot of these building material prices have changed dramatically recently, as you're probably aware. And so just know that some of these prices are from you know several years ago, not from uh, you know not using today's prices. So let's get started here. I'm going to try and run through this fairly quickly. Um, so first one I have is insulation. I put a couple thousand bucks for this. This is the um, covers all the fiberglass, you know, so that's walls and ceilings. Um, and then as you can see in this picture, also I put the um, tough R one inch uh, foam board in the ceiling, and that's all you know taped to the seams, and then um, put strapping on there for extra insulation. Um, and then this also includes the the rock wall that's used for um, the base traps. But this covers going in the soffits, um, in the stage, you know, all all the insulation. I'm estimating about be about a couple thousand bucks. Um, framing uh, framing's pretty low, and that's because I didn't really have a lot of framing to do. Um, as you can see here, there's walls on either side. I framed out my um, stage, so there's walls on either side of the stage. Um, there's a little doorway that I had to frame for the equipment room and then a little then framing out the door for the entry and then the soffits um, and that's essentially all there was for framing um, and then in this price I also did include the OSB um, that I had to put on the walls again you know this is the one where the pricing for this is based on prices from when I purchased this not from you know what you'd probably pay now um, it'd probably be quite a bit higher than this at this point drywall I've mentioned this in other videos. My wife's uncle owns a drywall company, so um, 
this is probably lower than what most people uh, would pay, but um, $3,400 was all the drywall um, materials, uh, taping, mudding, sanding, um, and this also included having them uh, spray and power sand a primer. Uh, I estimated about $500, um, I figured about 10 gallons of paint total probably. Um, so again, ceiling, um, you know, ceiling you can see there's blue and then use bare paint on the walls, the gray and the black, and then, uh, and then use some flat black paint uh, for the stage. So I figure around 500 bucks for all the paint. Rough electrical, um, I estimated around 800 bucks. Again, this is probably cheaper than what you would pay now, but um, this included the Romex for the uh, the lighting and the outlets. Um, so that's 14 wire and 12 wire. It included the speaker wire, the bo you know boxes, um, the troughs that you see here. I had a couple of those um, pipe that I ran to the projector and the Smurf tube you see here. This may be a little low, you know. This it may, it may be closer, you know, closer to a thousand, twelve hundred bucks. But I put eight hundred bucks in for rough electrical. Um, finished electrical, I'll put another five hundred bucks in. That's the trims for all the can lights that you see here that I took apart and painted, um, and then just basically outlets and plates and like all the pieces to finish off the electrical. And remember, I have outlets around the walls. I have outlets outlets in each of the columns. Um, you can see one here in this picture. Um, and then uh, right here, and then uh, you know all the normal uh, switch plates and stuff like that. The stage, um, I figure about six hundred fifty dollars. That includes the framing for it. So I believe it was two by twelves for the frame for the frame part, and then two by four for that front step. Um, and then this includes again the trim and uh, the rubber mat underneath it. So there's three quarter inch mat underneath it. Uh, that I got from Tractor Supply. That's the um, stall horse for horses. That kind of thir I think it's three quarter inch thick. Um, and then you can see there the the, the nosing um, that goes around the edge. Um, and then I also included that engineered uh, wood in the cost of that too. And then I did also include the foam panels that um, go, that actually they're not in this picture, but the ones that go on the back wall. LED lighting. Um, as you can see here, uh, we got power supplies and uh, amplifiers for all the LED lighting. Um, and so I just included the LED light strips, the controller, the amplifiers, the power supplies, all the stuff around the LED lighting in the soffit. And then um, I also have LED lighting in the handrail. And um, I have videos for all these things, and I'll probably put them in the description here so in case you want to see any, see any of those. HVAC, um, I have just this one heat pump for the room. It's a Dakin 15,000, um, and it does it does a re really good job keeping the room warm and cool. It does, if it gets really cold, I am in New England, I'm in Vermont, and um, when we get, you know, probably below, five below zero, it's not putting out a lot of heat anymore, um, but the room below this is my garage, which is, which is also heated, so the room doesn't get all that cold here, but I figure about 2200 bucks for that, I think is what I paid for that and to have it installed. Um, cabinets, so all these cabinets you see, these are, I built all these myself, so it's really just the MDF um, and, the, and the poplar is what I use to trim them out, and then basically the 2x4s, the bottom. Again, these prices were based on, you know, when I did this, uh, these were done several years ago. So probably, you'd be probably paying more on this now, but again, I did this all myself, so you know, no labor included here, obviously. Um, so this is the island. Uh, this one's a little more expensive because this isn't MDF. This is actually birch um, plywood because of all the weight um, from the concrete countertop that was going to go on it. I didn't want to build it at MDF, so those are built out of um, birch plywood. And then it includes the um, the price, the $400 includes the concrete, um, some rebar that I put in the concrete, um, and also the form uh, I had to build out of melamine uh, to build that and flip it up over top. So all that together I figured is around four hundred dollars. Columns. Um, so we have let's see one two three four five six eight columns. Um, yeah, I, I just kind of included all the pieces of that. So the frame, the Guilford of Maine fabric that goes around it, the black fabric for the um, acoustically transparent fabric, um, the trim and then the shelves that go in it to hold the speakers I figure around 60 bucks a piece for all that um, so I figured about 480 bucks for those 
uh, switches and keypads. So I, as um, you've probably seen maybe in some of my other videos, uh, this is all Insteon. I have 11 dimmers and three eight button keypads in here. Um, so those are gonna be around $700 for, it was around $700 for all those. Automated roller shades, I figure around $900. So I'd had five windows I did. These were all done myself. I blind, I got the blinds, the roller shades from blinds.com. Um, but I built all these myself, got the roller motors and controls and then parts I just kind of put in there. It's like I had to use EMT for the tube um, and just other basic hardware, a little bit of trim to go on the windows. So I figure around 900 bucks, I think is what I paid for all, of, all the windows. Carpet. Um, this is again one of the other few things I didn't do myself. Um, it's I got a pretty cheap carpet, honestly, um, and probably will be redoing this. But I think the carpet was around three thousand dollars to have it installed. Um, the chairs. Uh, so this includes um, not only the Octane Turbo XL 700s that you see here, these you know row of four curved. Uh, seats. Um, these are all power recline, LEDs, and everything. But I did also include the two seats you can see in the back. Um, uh, these bar bar type uh, chairs uh, for the island, and I'll probably be getting two more of those eventually. But um, the thirty-two hundred dollars covers the seating um, for both the recliners and the seats behind the island. Finished carpentry. I just put in twelve hundred dollars. That's for the door. Um, that's a fur door that I stained, and then to cover the trim. So the trim's all poplar. Um, but you can see, you know, I got trim on the doors, a baseboard, um, all around all the windows. Um, there's chair rail that runs all around the room. Uh, I put $1,200 in to cover all that. But again, this is all stuff I just bought it raw. I, I routed it all myself. I cut it all myself, installed it all myself. So it's really just the materials. Uh, now we get into some of the more expensive stuff here. Uh, speakers, all DIY sound group um, for the, on the speakers. As you can see, I have three uh, Titan uh, 615 XLs, which are behind the screen. Those are my main LCR speakers. We have um, eight Volt 10s, which are the wides, the two rows of surrounds and the rear surrounds, um, and then four Volt 8s, um, which cover the Atmos speakers. So I have two rows of Atmos speakers. So that was worth $5,200 for all of those. Again, just bought the kits from them, built them all myself. Um, and the cabinets I, some a lot of the cabinets I built um, myself as well. Uh, those weren't even part of the kits. I just got the speakers, so that kind of reduced the price as well. Uh, the custom subwoofers, so um, two of those behind the screen, as you can see here, uh, those are using the Dayton Audi Ultimax uh, UM1822s, 18 inch uh, woofers. Um, so the cost, you know, it's about 750 covers the cost of the speakers plus the MDF that I use to uh, build the cabinets. And those are tuned at uh, 17 hertz. The screen, um, the screen's a Seymour AV 140 inch wide, um, and it's a 235 to 1 ratio. Um, so that was around $2,200 for that. Acoustically transparent, obviously. Uh, the projector. So this is where we're going to get into some of the high dollar stuff. Um, you'll see in the end here, you know, this is where, where, the, where the budget really starts to crank up. So I waited and I did spend quite a bit of money on, you know, on, on a decent projector. So this is the JVC RS2100, um, also known as the NZ7. This is a, a, a 4K slash 8K laser projector. It has lens memory. Um, it's it's been an awesome projector, and so that was ten thousand dollars. So that is that's one of the bigger single piece. This is probably the single biggest uh, item in the whole room. And then I just kind of uh, grouped all this together. This is the rack in my electronics. Um, so Marantz AV10, Marantz Amp10, the Behringer uh, iNuke 6000 DSP for the um, subs, uh, two AC Infinity cloud plate fans. And then the rack, the shelves, the drawers, I just totaled all that up, um, and that came out to 13700 So as you can see here, and you'll see here in a minute, um, that uh, the electronics, you know, electronics themselves probably were like more than half of the cost of the room, or around half of the cost of the room. So what does it all equal to? Fifty-three thousand six hundred dollars, and I'm sure that's gonna. It's, I mean, it sounds even crazy to me that I spent that much money on this room. It doesn't. 
honestly feel like I've spent that much on this room because it's been done, as I said, over time. And again, I think, as I mentioned, like, and you saw, the electronics were a huge portion of that. So, what was it? The projector was 10,000, and then the electronics were 13, so you got like 23,000, you know, so half of the room basically was just the projector and the audio. Um, and so, you know, that, that, that was a big piece of the cost of the room, the actual DIY parts of it that I did in the building and everything else um, really weren't all that bad. Um, but so there we are, $53,600 is what I came up with. And again, I'm sure I've missed some stuff. And uh, some of the prices were estimates, like I said, because I wasn't keeping track of um, how much things were costing in the beginning purposely because I didn't really want to know. But that's the number we came up with. Um, so, you know, some of you are probably thinking that's crazy. Some are probably thinking that's really low. But, um, I think it's, you know, if I think back, I think this room would have cost me easily over six figures to have built um, if I paid somebody to do it. And so yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. Again, with, with most of that being in the electronics anyways, um, it's, uh, I think it's added more value to my house um, than what I've, you know, than, than this dollar figure showing. So anyways, any que if you have any questions about any of this stuff, um, I do have some videos about how I've built a lot of the things in here and I'll try and link many of them in the description, but, um, please leave comments if you have any questions or just a basic comment. Um, you know, again, please, uh, hit the like button. Um, I gotta get these videos out to other people. So that'll tell YouTube to, uh, to do that. And then, uh, please subscribe. Um, I'm trying to get my subscriptions up there. Going to be doing a lot more videos about home theater stuff, home automation, um, and maybe some other smart home stuff too around home, um, you know, building green homes and um, building uh, energy efficient homes. So stick around for that. Um, but again, more, lots more uh, home theater stuff to come. And uh, until the next video, thanks.